is Evil Wonder Carver, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Windows computer look close to a Mac, but not exactly like a Mac. And sorry about this, some stuff just fell over on my desk. So let me pull that back up. Um, what you're going to want to do is first off, open your Chrome. Go to rocketdoc.com. Then download it. It will give you a Rocket Doc runner. And then if you open up this, it will give you this shortcut onto your desktop. You can drag that wherever you want. Uh, and then if I quit Rocket Doc, it will. This will open it. And then, uh, in order to get my theme, the Mac OS X Leopard theme, you want to go to, all these links will be in this, the description, guys. You want to go to Google and type in Mac OS X Rocket Docs, Rocket Doc Skin, just like that. And then, first link, you download that zip file. Then, it will give you this. You drag this folder onto your desktop or wherever. Then you right click, open file location. You want to drag that folder, the Mac OS X Leopard folder, into your Rocket Doc Skins folder. You don't have to keep all these. You probably can delete some, but I'm just going to keep them. Then, in order to get my font like this, you're going to want to go to defont.com. And search up Batman Forever. It's right here. Uh, you can get it in, or this is the one that you're able to use in your uh, videos. My bad. Without getting copyright or anything, or without donating to the user, it is free. So I know some of them like. Uh, Techno Hideo, you have to donate in order to use it in your videos. So, yeah, you want to download that. Then it'll give you this. You drag these two files out to your desktop and then just run them. And it will install them both. Then you want to right click uh, someplace open on the dock or anywhere really. Dock settings. Then you will see this. I like to do run at startup, store settings in portable INI, which is a single user, user, minimize doc or windows to the doc, which means that I just minimized my defont.com to Google Chrome or defont.com Google Chrome page to my doc and then open running application instant, which opens it instantly, then running application in indicators and you can see right here where I just drew that red line that is leading to the uh, open dock indicator my bad and uh, so yeah uh, you have icons you can change the opacity of them the size of them I keep mine right around 40 because I have a lot of items on mine. Uh, you can choose the zoom effect. I like to keep mine at bubble because flat. It just zooms them all up. Play 2, it's kind of like a uh, st stadium or something. Like a 1-2-3 winner thing. I don't know what they're called. And it kind of just zooms them up and zooms up quite a bit of them. I like to keep mine on bubble. You can choose how much they zoom. You can see right there it's 1 pixel up, 28. It's a little bit more. I like to keep mine fully up so that I can see exactly what I'm clicking, even though you can, but I like to have see it close. Um, you have your zoom width. You can do, uh, change it to 10 and zoom up a lot, or keep it down at 2 and only zoom up 2. I keep mine right around 6, because that's a little perfect. You can change your zoom duration. There you see it zooms up a little bit slower and really slow. 
to keep mine at 100 milliseconds so that it zooms really fast. You can change the position, monitor 1 to monitor 2. That will I don't want to do that because that will take it off of you guys. Um, You can change it top, left, right, bottom. It, bottom is where I keep it. The centering you can change. And let me get back that back to zero. You can change the offset. Again, I keep mine on zero. You can go to style. This is where you select that Mac OS X Leopard skin, and it will give you this one. If you don't want anything behind them, you can just move the opacity down, and it'll be just blank. You can select font. This is where you will find that Batman Forever font. Next, I'm going to move up my font a little bit so that it's a little bit bigger. And um, you can change the behavior to pop up on mouse over and everything like that, which pop up a mouse over means that, say I have my Chrome open and I need to get something from my dock. I can move my mouse down there and it, my dock pops up. So that's pretty much it. Now one thing I do want to show you, which I had a little problem with, if you're changing your dock settings and you go to monitor, monitor star, you will not be able to see it anymore. So how to fix that is you go to open file location and then you want to look for what was it uh data I believe no that's not it what is it <laughs> my bad should have probably looked into this again before I haven't done this in a while no um No, not help. Well, pretty much, you will not work if you just uh, uninstall it and reinstall it. You have to go into wherever, someplace in here. There should be a settings, and I don't know where it went. I just did this the other day, too. Um, well, anyway, someplace in there, there should be settings. You just delete that, and it will restore your settings to the default. You'll have to do everything all over again, but you will be able to see it again. Now, one thing I forgot to say is docklets and separators. I can delete this separator, and now you can see everything is in line together. I can add item separator, and now I have all my games over here and all my other stuff over here. Then you can add stuff like uh, the dock settings to where if you click that, it automatically pulls up the dock settings. Uh, you can go to add item. You have the rocket dock clock docklet. That is a working clock. As you can see, Monday, October 14th, 2013 is the day I'm recording this. And you can see the time right there. Now this does not look exactly like a Mac, I don't have the right background, and my taskbar is over here, and I don't really want to install a Mac OS X Leopard theme, because I heard those can ruin your computer. So, anyways, uh, continue on, you can add item, recycle bin, and that will add just your recycle bin, obviously. So I'm actually going to leave that on there. Um, and yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so one thing I forgot to add is how to add stuff like Gary's Mod, which if you open up Gary's Mod, uh, properties, it, uh, wait, no, no, that's not right. Um, if you go to your computer, local disk, if you're running a 32-bit system, it's program files, or program files 86 for a 64-bit operating system. Scroll down until you see Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod. You can see right here that it's 
the Half-Life 2.exe and that will not work to run it. And you and if you go into Gary's mod you can't find any .exe or anything. It's actually quite annoying. Um so how you can get that on there is you want to go into your wherever your Gary's mod is located, go to properties, copy this steam colon forward slash forward slash run game id forward slash i for 4000 it will be different for other games then you can exit that then you want to add item blank icon this is actually going to go back here um icon settings name it gary's mod or whatever thing you're putting it in then you want to paste that seam run game id 4000 right here and then I got a Gary's Mod image off the internet, and that's how I did that. So how you do that is you just search up Gary's Mod icon, excuse me, and then find one. And actually, I'm gonna put another item on there for you guys to show you a uh, Left 4 Dead 2 icon. So I'm gonna get this one save image as then l4d2 and as you can see that saved so again create a blank icon then games left for dead 2 properties run steam game id 550 copy that I actually think this has a uh anyways I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I actually think that has a dot exe but then uh left four dead two then paste it in there then to get your icon you're gonna wanna open up where you have your rocket dock and then open file location icons then open up your downloads wherever you save that picture to and look for it <laughs> um then you're gonna wanna just drag it in here move to icons continue and then if I go to the icon settings left 4 dead 2 looks a little ugly with that white ring around it but I have the icon now I'm actually gonna delete that cause I don't want it on there so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.